Temperance is about mastering the ability to resist impulses and make conscious decisions rather than reacting on impulse. It's one of the four fundamental virtues in Stoic philosophy, alongside wisdom, justice, and courage. Temperance involves self-control, moderation, and recognizing our limits. It's all about staying calm in challenging situations and responding in a balanced and thoughtful way. In simple terms, temperance means finding a sense of moderation that should be part of all aspects of our lives. This virtue is crucial for making good decisions, especially when we are under pressure, as it helps us maintain inner peace, mental clarity, and effective problem solving. If you are often controlled by your emotions, whether it's anger or enthusiasm, you face a serious issue of self-control. This is precisely why we turn to Stoicism to overcome this challenge. In this video, I'll share 10 practical ways to help you develop temperance as one of your virtues. First, steer clear of being driven solely by your desires. True freedom doesn't arise from overwhelming desires, but from your ability to control them. Stoics believe that constantly chasing pleasure and fearing pain can trap us, making our passions control us instead of us controlling them. The important thing is to make choices that truly benefit you in the long term, instead of giving in to immediate satisfaction. Trying delayed gratification can be a good way to begin. Setting long-term goals and breaking them down into manageable steps is an effective way to guide your actions rather than constantly seeking immediate rewards. Always remember, the journey itself is as significant as reaching the destination. If we apply this principle to any goal, we'll discover a more fulfilling life unfolding before us. Next, continue your journey of learning and personal growth. Philosophy doesn't promise external rewards to humans. Achieving temperance through Stoicism involves a continuous process of learning and self-improvement. Stoics recognize that the path to virtue and wisdom is an ongoing journey. Often we make the mistake of focusing solely on the destination and rewards when, in reality, the true reward should be found in the journey itself. You can integrate this principle into your life by dedicating time every day to acquire new knowledge or reflect on your experiences and the lessons they offer. This not only aids in personal growth, but also equips you with a broader perspective to tackle life's challenges with increased balance and tranquility. Every day, take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate the things you possess. This can be as simple as having a roof over your head, food on your plate, or the presence of loved ones by your side. Keeping a gratitude journal can be a valuable tool for this practice. Write down three things you're thankful for each day. You can also immerse yourself in nature and consciously savor your surroundings. Cultivate a mindset of contentment by recognizing that what you have is already sufficient to bring happiness. Engaging in gratitude meditation can serve as a potent method to nurture appreciation in your daily life. Now. Let's transition from the previous point. Shift your focus toward gratitude and release the expectation that everything must align with your desires. Learn to accept unfolding situations and discover happiness in the way things naturally occur. For the Stoics, gratitude is both a perspective and an active practice. It empowers us to concentrate on the positive aspects rather than fixating on the negative. Remember to express your gratitude tangibly, such as saying thank you more frequently, crafting thank you notes for those who've made a difference in your life, or simply taking a moment to marvel at the beauty of the world around you. Particularly, distance yourself from individuals who tarnish your sense of gratitude, steer clear of those who propagate negativity and complaints, cherish what you already possess, for genuine wealth lies in appreciating what you have rather than constantly craving what you lack. The Stoics highly valued simplicity and moderation by fostering gratitude for your existing blessings rather than eternally yearning for more. You develop the capacity to confront challenges. As Seneca wisely taught, difficulties awaken genius. 
historical wisdom underscores that obstacles and setbacks are opportunities for learning and personal growth. Cultivating resilience is a potent means to incorporate this concept into your life. This entails confronting challenges with calmness and equilibrium, regarding setbacks as chances for enhancement rather than personal failings. It's also important to develop problem-solving skills and have a mindset of always improving. When you understand that you can learn and grow from mistakes and challenges, embrace a mindset of growth and see setbacks as opportunities for personal growth. Practice resilience by building skills and strategies to overcome tough situations. Embrace the present moment fully. Keep in mind that your perception of reality is not an objective view, but rather shaped by your individual perspective. Stoicism places great emphasis on the practice of living in the present. Many of our anxieties and troubles arise from dwelling on past regrets or worrying about an uncertain future. By redirecting your focus to the here and now, you can liberate yourself from these concerns and cultivate tranquility and serenity. Developing mindfulness is a valuable means of applying this concept. This may entail dedicating a portion of your day to immersing yourself in the present, perhaps through meditation, or simply by attentively experiencing the sensations of the moment. To accomplish this, refrain from multitasking. Strive to engage in one activity at a time and offer it your undivided attention. Practice mindfulness through formal meditation or by attentively observing your daily actions and interactions with others. Foster empathy as a regular practice. Life's experiences are subject to interpretation, and Stoicism reminds us that each person grapples with their unique challenges. Through the practice of empathy, we can gain deeper insights into the experiences of others and respond in ways that promote peace and harmony. To implement this principle, consider stepping into the shoes of others before forming judgments or reactions. This might involve pausing to contemplate another person's perspective before responding or actively seeking opportunities to explore different viewpoints and experiences from your own. By consistently applying this principle and evolving into a more empathetic individual, you will gradually enhance your understanding of diverse perspectives, reducing the likelihood of irritation or negative toxic reactions. Learn to embrace the aspects beyond your control. As Epictetus wisely stated, it is not the facts themselves but our judgments about them that disturb us. This fundamental stoic concept, repeatedly featured in my videos, underscores the significance of acknowledging the necessity of accepting situations we cannot alter. A straightforward example is weather, which we can never control, whether it brings storms or sunshine. Thus, worrying about it is an unproductive expenditure of energy. Instead, we can focus on how we adapt and respond to varying weather conditions. Another practical method for applying this principle is the use of cognitive therapy techniques, which assist in recognizing and challenging irrational or detrimental thoughts. Cultivating the ability to accept the unchangeable liberates us from a significant source of worry and paves the way for a more serene and balanced existence. Acknowledge both your strengths and weaknesses, recognizing your inherent imperfection as a human being. Observe how nature itself accepts and adapts to changes, serving as an inspiration for your own journey. Prioritize your mental well-being and share your experiences and emotions with trusted friends. Take small, gradual steps towards overcoming setbacks, beginning with modest actions to surmount challenges. Understand that adversities are a natural aspect of life and approach yourself with kindness during these testing moments. Engage in the practice of detachment recognizing that true poverty lies not in the decrease of possessions but in the increase of avarice, as wisely noted by Epictetus. In Stoicism, detachment means freeing yourself from relying too much on external things for your inner happiness. It doesn't mean giving up all sources of pleasure or material possessions, but it's about not letting your inner peace depend entirely on them. There are different ways to practice detachment. For example, 
you can use meditation, where you imagine your desires and then imagine letting go of them. Another method entails simplifying your life, reducing the abundance of possessions, and shifting your focus towards experiences and relationships, prioritizing them over material possessions. This adjustment is particularly pertinent given our inclination to accumulate more than we genuinely require or merit. By embracing values of simplicity and moderation, we free ourselves from the relentless pursuit of novelty and ceaseless improvement. Crucially, prioritize self-care as an essential component of your journey. To begin, it is imperative to maintain your physical well-being as it significantly influences the strength and health of your mind. Stoicism underscores the intricate connection between body and mind, considering them as an interconnected whole. Ensuring your physical well-being is a crucial part of practicing temperance. This involves regularly exercising, maintaining a healthy diet, and getting enough rest. It also encompasses the nurturing of your mental health, whether through practices such as meditation, therapy, or simply dedicating time to relax and engage in activities that genuinely bring you joy. Always remember that neglecting your physical well-being, encompassing both health and appearance, is a sign of disrespect toward yourself. Seek out activities that authentically delight you and commit to incorporating them into your routine. Historical temperance serves as a pathway to inner tranquility and serenity. It centers on comprehending and managing your emotions and desires, empowering you to transcend their sway over your life. Rather than allowing yourself to be governed by these impulses, you cultivate the capacity to live in alignment with your values and respond to life's challenges with wisdom rather than mere reaction. Echoing the words of Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. It is worth acknowledging that our consistent thoughts hold the potential to materialize into our reality. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to spread the Stoic message.